Hey, it's Scott. Um, there's it's a rainy day here in Florida today, so uh, I'm gonna do some maintenance on some of my lawn stuff. Uh, a lot of people ask me questions: What's the easiest way to change the blades on the lawn tractor? So I'll show you the easiest way to do it. Here's what you need: you need about a half inch sized. I'm using a let's see, a fifteen sixteenths. Need about a two foot long breaker bar or ratchet, C clamp, and there's two different types of blades that you can use for the Troy builds. You can either use this star, it's a very specific star pattern. There's a couple stars out there. This is the one that works, or this configuration. You can see they match up perfectly. So, how we do this is take a C clamp, put this down for a second. Sorry, buddy. Take the C-clamp, mount it to the side, put that camera down for a second, there's two hands. Get it on there nice and tight, and what happens is if you can see underneath, as the blade comes around, it's going to hit the C-clamp. That's our bolt that we're going to aim for. Going to put the ratchet on there, and we're going to set it to make sure it's going to tight, loosen it, not tighten it. Give it a good pull. And that's about it right there. Get it broken off, just hand it. And squeeze your hand. Old blade comes off, new blade goes back on. Just put it right on, put it right up underneath, mount it. Take this bolt, screw it on, and you tighten it up until it doesn't get tightened anymore. That's it. Hope this helps out. Some of the people have been asking me questions. Bye. Well, this is what the blades look like when they're all done. If you're wondering when you should maybe change them out. This is an overlay of the old blade versus the new blade. They take quite a bit of abuse. One thing I would suggest is your old blade, so long as it's not truly damaged and it's still relatively flat, I would hold on to that if you have a truck or someplace in your garage, if you don't have another set of blades laying around, definitely worth holding on to in case you hit a stump or something and the, the blades on your tractor bend. It's always better to cut with a blade that's not very good than one that won't cut at all. So I always hold on to one or two of my old beat up blades and hope that's some advice that will help out some people. Take care.